What do you think of these other companies you mentioned, uh, Lilium? Are they close? Do you think they have a chance? What, what do you think about what, what they're doing? Because it seems like there's sort of been a, a new sort of resurgence of electric aircraft interest. Like there's a lot of startups doing this. Uber's talking about how they want to have flying cars around the cities with Uber Elevate in like 2023. Mm-hmm. So are you taking that seriously or... I feel like I would need to take one myself. I know they just started like Uber Copter here in uh, New York. Yeah. So that, I mean, if they roll out that, what is it, Honda that they just partnered with on like an Uber drone plane kind of thing. Yeah, at CES. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I would like to see the economics, not just like the heavily discounted copter prices going from like 200 plus to 100 for like a special amount of time. Yeah. I don't know how that total addressable market would work once you've got like sustainable non-promotion pricing. Um, but yeah, you've got that Magnix company. This is like the first company to implement electric planes in real life and they're electric seaplanes. So really short distance routes essentially and landing on water and i think electric planes will go the same way as electric vehicles where early on you're just taking like the shell of these internal combustion engine vehicles and you are retrofitting it with batteries and electric drivetrain technology Um, so i think that's what will happen early on but that that will be incredibly expensive in such a small use case and just like with electric vehicles where that happens, I mean, you can still get ICE vehicles electrified, uh, fully electric. It's just super expensive. Um, so it'll go from that. And then, you know, you've got Lilium, uh, Larry Page is backing both Kitty Hawk and Opener. Uh, Kitty Hawk, I believe, is uh, Sebastian Thrun, who also did uh, Udacity. Um, really interesting guy, interesting company. Uh, besides that, yeah, Uber Elevate, Vahana, they're, it, it's finally getting money, right? So in order to make this viable, in order to make electric planes real, you need a lot of money and a lot of smart people and talent working on this problem. Nothing is going to advance without money and engineering talent trying to tackle it. 